In Season 2 of Narcos Mexico, Felix Gallardo has his eyes set on further expansion. Not content to simply transport the Colombians' cocaine, he wants to push them out and get into selling the product himself. But that plan was a lot easier said than done, especially when he has to deal with the constant infighting of his plaza leaders. In Juarez, Amado is forced to play a reluctant babysitter to Pablo Acosta, who is shirking his leadership duties to play house with an American woman named Mimi and going off on honorable revenge missions against a rival. Amado manages to mostly keep Acosta in line, but Acosta's head is no longer in the game and he's searching for a way out. In Sinaloa, tired of having to deal with the Ariano Felix family in Tijuana, Chapo devises his own route to traffic drugs across the U.S.-Mexico border. Buying a warehouse in Mexico and a plot of land in America, Chapo works on an underground tunnel that would cut out any business ties the Sinaloans would need with Tijuana. And in Tijuana, Benjamin's sister Inadina strikes up a secret deal with Isabella to use the Tijuana Plaza's resources to traffic their own supply of cocaine into America. Meanwhile, Benjamin is constantly bickering with Sinaloa heads Palma, Cochi Loco, and Chapo, eventually escalating into a violent and deadly tit-for-tat, which includes murders on both sides and the destruction of Chapo's underground tunnel. Eventually, Benjamin pressures Felix into allowing him to make the ultimate power move, ordering the death of Cochiloco. And it's not just the plaza leaders that are causing problems for Felix Gallardo's Federation expansion plans. DEA agent Walt Breslin and his team from Operation Lienda are utilizing any means necessary to take Felix down. Eventually, they manage to capture Ruben Zuno Arce, the owner of the house Kiki Camarena was murdered in. Arce had incriminating dirt on Felix that put him away for good, but he refuses to testify in front of the grand jury. This loss puts an official into Operation Lienda, but Walt and his team are given the go-ahead to continue their mission off-book. Walt's next move is offering Pablo Costa a plea deal that would allow him to enter the Witness Protection Program in America with Mimi, but unfortunately for him, Acosta is also a target of the FBI and DFS, who kill Acosta in an assault on the small town he was hiding in. With his plaza heads constantly at odds and the DEA closing in on him, Felix has to get creative and ruthless in his moves throughout Season 2. When Palma is caught scheming behind Felix's back following the death of Cochiloco, Felix calls for Palma's death. The Sinaloan leader manages to evade the hit, but his wife and children aren't as lucky. When a new progressive presidential candidate wins the Mexican election, Felix has his men storm the polling stations to alter the votes in favor of Felix's political allies. Felix's plans to push the Colombians out of the cocaine business backfires when they cut a deal with Guerra, leader of the Gulf region, to transport their supply. To keep the Colombians happy, Felix vastly overcompensates and promises to transport as much cocaine as the Colombians could give him, a sum totaling about 70 tons. Walt's team plans a raid on the 70-ton shipment of cocaine, but when they arrive at the airstrip, they discover they've fallen into a trap. Most of Walt's team is killed, and he barely escapes with his own life. Felix manages to successfully transport the 70 tons of cocaine, and Walt's failure leads to him being reassigned back to America. Feeling back on top, Felix tips off law enforcement in California about the location of 20 tons of Colombian coke. This leads to the largest cocaine seizure in history. This weakens the Colombians enough for Felix to finally get what he's been after all season, his own supply of cocaine to sell. But that's where Felix's successes come to an end. At a meeting with the plaza heads to inform them of the new cocaine deal, they all instead withdraw from the Federation. The deaths of Cochi Loco and Palma's family, and Felix's continuing power trips had pushed them all over the edge. And so the Federation disbanded, with Benjamin and the Ariano Felix family continuing to run Tijuana, Palma, Azul, and Chapo running Sinaloa, Amado and Aguilar running Juarez, and Guerra and his family running the Gulf. With the disbandment of the Federation, Felix had lost all of his power. Looking to appease the American government, Mexican officials were finally on board to arrest Felix, and he no longer had the power to stop them. And so, Felix Gallardo was finally taken into custody. As the season comes to a close, Walt Breslin, now working under Jaime in the DEA's El Paso office, pays a visit to Felix in prison. And though the leader of the Guadalajara cartel was now finally behind bars, Felix assured Walt that the worst was yet to come. With no leader keeping the various cartel heads in line, chaos would ensue. And that chaos would lead to the Mexican drug war. And that's everything that happened in Narcos Mexico Season 2. Let me know some of your favorite moments in the comments below. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to this channel for more content like it. And that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.